Hi and welcome to Clapia. In this video, we will see how to make only required sections visible if your app contains multiple sections. In the previous video, it was based out of making only specific users see certain sections using their email ID. You can check out that video, it is linked in the description. This video will show you how to make sections appear based on what options user selects in the app. Let's take an example. In my Clapia dashboard, I'll choose the project inspections app that I've created earlier. Now in this app, there are multiple sections with multiple fields and it can get time consuming for users to find the right section to fill in details. Unlike the previous video, if you want all the sections to be visible to your users but maybe looking to make it more easier to navigate, you can do that by allowing users to select which sections they'd like to fill in. Let's say I have a field here with options and if a user selects this option, then one section appears but if they select this option, the other section appears in the app. To do that, I'll go to the design app. Since I'm an app admin, I have access to this tab. And since this is where I create the app structure, you can see all the fields and the sections that I have configured. These are the sections I want the user to navigate easily. So like I mentioned earlier, I will add another field and give them the options to select which section they would like to fill in. So in the beginning of my app, which captures basic details, I'll click on Add Field and click on Single Selector. This block can be configured on the right-hand panel. If you wish to know how to configure this block in detail, there is a separate video on that again and it is linked in the description if you wish to check it out. First, I will change the label and give it an appropriate name. I'll leave the description blank as it's not required. Next comes the options. Here, I'll give in all the names of the sections that is there in the app, which is electrical safety, hazard and general. Mentioning them one after the other, taking care that there are no spaces after each option and maintaining the lowercase and uppercase letters as per the section. I'll leave the default value blank. Again, this is not required and I'll click on save. Now that I've given the options over here for the user to select, the section should appear accordingly in the app. So first I'll click on the electrical safety section and configure this on the right panel. I'll click on advanced and there is an option that says display this section if. Over here you'll be able to give display conditions and you can give formula similar to spreadsheet. So in the app, if the user selects electrical safety option, then the electrical safety section should appear in the app only. So for that, over here, I will type in at the rate select, which corresponds to this field, equals to, in double quotes, electrical safety, exactly the way I mentioned it in the section, and then click on save. I will do the same for the remaining sections. So I'll click on hazard, go to the advanced option on the right panel, and over here, I will type in at the rate select, equals to, in double quotes, hazard. And finally, the general section. Now that I've done this for all the sections, let's see how it works. I'll go to App Home and you can see the sections are no longer visible in the app. Now if a user were to select electrical safety option, that particular section appears in the app. Or if they were to select say hazard, that section appears. So let me make a quick submission and see how this looks like in the submissions tab. I filled in some details, selecting only the electrical safety option and I'll click on submit. You can view all the submissions under the submissions tab. Click on the submission and a right hand panel should appear, capturing all the details submitted by the user. All the details under the electrical safety section is captured over here. If a user needs to make any changes post submission, they will be able to do so. They can simply select an option, let's say hazard make the appropriate changes, click on save and the details will be captured. Details captured in the electrical safety section will no longer be visible as this is a single selector block. If you do not want your users to make any changes post submission, then you can configure it appropriately. In the design app, click on the single selector block that you've configured. On the right panel, go to advanced and here you have the option that says allow value to be changed after initial submission. Disable this option so that users will no longer be able to make any changes after submitting. Click on save. Now let's check that out. I'll go to the submissions tab. 
and you can see the option is now grayed out. But they can still make changes within the section. You can give the same configurations if you do not want them to make any changes to all these fields. Now what if you need multiple sections to be selected, filled in and submitted. So let's say in App Home, the user needs to select the electrical safety section, fill in the details and also select the hazard option and fill in its details. With the single selector block, the user will only be able to select a single option, fill in the corresponding section and make a submission. But for filling in multiple sections, for that, in place of the single selector field, you can use the multiple selector. Let's see how that works. I'll go back to Design App, click on the single selector block. On the right panel, there is an option that says Block Type. You can change the single selector either into a multiple selector or a drop down. Do note that you can use the drop down field in place of the single selector block and configure it the same way. Now, if I select multiple selector, click on update, this has now changed into a multiple selector block. This is only applicable if you want to switch the single selector block that you might have configured in your app into a multiple selector block or a drop down. Or you can simply click on add field if you haven't added any option like that yet and select the multiple selector block and on the right hand panel you can configure this. So first I will change the label and give the same options as the sections and click on save. With the multiple selector block you also get the option of having not applicable. If you wish to remove this you can go to the advanced section and disable the show not applicable option. Again, to know how this block works in detail, you can check out the video linked in the description. Now, the configuration for the section will be slightly different than the single selector block. I'll click on the first section, go to advanced on the right panel. This error has appeared because I deleted the single selector block. Now, under the display the section if option, the formula will be slightly different. It will not be as direct as the single selector block. Over here, you will have to give the formula search and in brackets, in double quotes, the section name, comma, at the rate, select, which is the multiple selector block, greater than zero. This formula is used so that the user can select multiple options to display multiple sections in the app. I'll click on save and do the same for the remaining sections. So for the hazard section, under advanced, And finally, for the general section. Now that I've configured it for all the sections, let's check it out in App Home. Again, you can see that the sections are not visible in the app. If I select the general section, it appears. I can also select another section. With this, the user can now fill in the details for multiple sections and submit. So let me make a quick submission. I'm just filling in some random details and speeding this up quickly. I'll go to the submissions tab to view that submission. I'll click on the submission that I've just made. It has captured the details of both the sections. The same functionality will also work in the mobile app. All the user has to do is download the Clapier app either from Play Store or App Store. And if the app is assigned to them, they will be able to log in, access the app and use it just as you've configured it. So let's have a quick look. Over here, you can see the mobile screen with the Clapier app downloaded on it. I'll click on the Project Inspections app. You can see the app is live and ready to use. Even over here, the sections are not visible. If I select the general option, the section appears. If I select the hazard as well, the corresponding section appears. If you have any queries on how to use the single selector, the multiple selector, or even the drop down block, to display sections in your app for your users or any other feature in Clapier, you can always request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.